Hi, we're ready to do another style session today at Creative Door. It's starting to become our second home. And I'm going to introduce you to a very interesting woman called Vanessa Morin. And she has, she has a collection that like I think most women could wear. There's a piece in the whole collection that I feel there's a piece for every woman. So, Vanessa, tell us about you, where are you from, and why did you start designing? How did you get started? Well, basically I'm from Germany, I'm from Munich. I'm 27 years old. Um, I graduated in 2007 from an international fashion school, it's called ESMOD, in Munich. Um, that's basically when I started really concentrating on fashion. I won several Young Designer prizes during that time. That's also when I got really focused on I want to do my own collection one day. And when I graduated with the prize as a best designer, I got like right away hired from a company called Damir Doma. And that's when I actually started my career there. Like I started working there for past five years. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Moved to Paris as well, worked two years uh, directly in Paris and was mainly in charge of silence, like the second line of Damir. Mm -hmm. So I actually built it up from zero until what it is now. And then I felt like it's the time to to do my own my own collection. That's amazing. Because mm -hmm. Damir, we just saw the collection in the showroom and I actually can see your inspiration for Darmere and what you got from Darmere as well. There's a piece in the collection for every woman. There's a piece for a young hipster, there's a piece for an avant-garde businesswoman, and there's a piece, I think, even for older women, just because they like the style of just having garments that flow, and I think your garments flow. And that fits, most women want one piece that flows. So tell me what your inspiration is from and like tell me more. I mean basically what you just said, like describing the, the, the woman that is wearing it is like right away like you said it. I mean it's like I think between the age of mid twenties and till even fifty because there's like as you said, a piece for every kind of woman, also for every kind of body type. It's not like only like very the very tall and very skinny person. It can be also a woman with a bit more hips. The idea is that different kind of women can wear it and look good in it as well. So um, inspiration can come from very different fields. It's not like only in one direction. For instance, for the last collection, um, I was actually watching a movie. It's called Quat Quatrophania. It's about uh, it's about the 60s, like the London modernists versus the rockers, and uh -huh. these were like influences of the last collection. This time, the inspiration came from a book. It's called um, People of the 20th Century. Um, it's actually the first book showing street style pictures, but we're talking about like starting from 1920s up. Mm -hmm. So there's this one photograph, uh, it's called A Painter's Wife. Is this the one? Is this one. So that's the picture is called A Painter's Wife, and it's shot by August Sander, and it's shot in 1926. The interesting part about it is that it kind of reflects the new women of the Weimar Republic, showing that even already after the war, the women started like to feel like to show up and dress differently. And in this picture, especially, I like her strength, especially for the time, like she's very confident. She's like expressing a very certain um, way uh, between agitation and bravado. So it's kind of like, I, I really like that strength in the picture. Even also that it's a bit um, masculine. I'm taking those elements, but you will not see like any masculine part in the collection. It's still very feminine, but it's also very important. But still it's a bit ambiguous. This is something I really like about it. It's like the women finally being comfortable wearing the pants. Exactly. Yes, we like to wear the pants. Mm -hmm. So, and I can see where the inspiration came from as well. On top of that, there are some kind of um, controversial uh, influences in the collection because. Where's the controversy? In the sense of that, my second inspiration are more ethnic elements. Mm -hmm. So you see um, fabrics with a bit more tribal, tribal shapes. Mm -hmm. You have fabrics with these orange, diffused orange elements. Prints showing more like you see there's African body painting and when they put like strokes of 
uh, color about the, on their body. That's where this inspiration for that came from. One of the most important points of the collection is that all materials are from Italy. Some part is from Portugal, but the most important is that it's everything is produced in Europe, like strictly Europe, Italy, Portugal mainly, small part in Poland, so this is really important for us. It stands for quality, we know where it's produced, we know under which conditions it's conduce, uh, produced, and that's very, very important for the collection. Okay, so tell me about the fabrics you use. Mm -hmm. This is the most avant-garde piece of the collection, as this fabric is very... Uh, very very complicated to be made it's like a very own, unique jacquard and that's why this piece is like shows more the avant-garde side of the collection and what kind of materials and fabric well in this case you cannot just specify one because there are so many different kind of yarns in it mm -hmm. but most of the fabrics that I have in the collection are natural okay meaning cotton a lot of silk um, we do have several very, very flowing materials like cupro, I will show you that. Mm -hmm. This jersey dress feels like, I always call it like... It's one of my favorite pieces. Peach skin jersey because mm -hmm. it really definitely has like the skin of a peach. It's very soft. Actually, when you're wearing it, you hardly feel it because it's like so soft. So this is like one of the special jerseys that I have in the collection. I totally think this is a red carpet. Uh, oh, like when this I is the special piece of the collection, exactly. Because I wanted to have at least one dress that still fits my style, but it's like very chic and can be can be worn on a on a red carpet. So simple from the front. So you have don't you don't have any you don't need like elements to put some focus on something. It's just very clean and it's just really nice silhouette and very flowing due to the material. But then when you turn around, you have that open back with this detail here so it's very mm. reduced and you just have to focus on the back and I think that's really special a lot. I love it like I zeroed in on this dress I love that dress. Mm -hmm. I always have like a soft coolness in the collection as mm -hmm. well not only elegance so this part has like this doubled hoods so that you can like transform into a very big hood but also fold it around and have it just smaller. What is very special about that jacket is that it's a bomber jacket and bomber jackets are normally from the idea of it not a very feminine piece mm -hmm. but if you wear that because it has this hourglass shape it's mm -hmm. actually very feminine another piece that is interesting is the coat that you were wearing in the other fabric the idea of this coat is that you can completely wear it the other way around and you still have that oh, like wow. the same effect but like in a different way i love that so it's reversible yes exactly if you want it more orange, you wear it this way. If you want it more reduced and more white, you... And it's a totally it. different look, because this is very kimono style right now. Mm -hmm. But then if you reverse it, it looks like a, a, a driving coat, a driving jacket or something like that. Wow, that's nice. Love that. Love that Is as it well. like an additional value? That's what I like. Mm -hmm. There is another idea in the collection that I like to play with um, light and shadow. Mm -hmm. Also like playing the motto of the collection is Bauhaus meets the modern nomad. Mm -hmm. So actually the idea is we have a lot of very floating elements, things are draping, they are really loose and feminine. But then on the other side, it's very formal, it's very fitted, yeah. it's very tailored and very straightforward. And I like to play in with those two controversial sides in one garment. That's what I really like about the collection. It's just like tall, skinny model girl can wear it and it'll hang. But then you put it on a curvy girl and it still has enough elasticity and enough flowingness in the garments that it just falls on your curves exactly. nicely. Exactly. Love this. Let's check this out really quick because this has the leather detailing on the pocket and on the collar. So it's kind of like a Mao collar with a man's a men's shirt detailed, but then enough flowing. So like me, if you want to cover your middle area, you can cover it. And then if you just, you know, you're just that grungy chick, it just hangs perfectly. I like to have like in, in the collection also a balance between very complicated pieces and simple pieces and this is something in between where you're saying like it's um, it's a very simple piece but it's very special due to these elements as well. It's very nice in summary. It's loose but it has all these detailing as well. I'm using a lot of weave edges and raw edges. These are elements of the design as well for this collection. So yeah, this is like one of the very more basic but still very special pieces. When you were designing this collection, what were you listening to? What was your soundtrack to this collection? Um, 
I'm listening to electronic, indie. So this is what I'm actually like, what, what gives me a lot of energy for it. And as you just said, it's a very important, important part of my process. I need a lot of music for it. And yeah. Okay. So where can people find you? On your, are you on Facebook? Are you on Twitter? What stores are you in? Uh, we are definitely on Facebook. We have a website, vanessamarine.com. Um, there's no Twitter yet, so I'm not using it so far. I'm focusing on Facebook, on like keeping the people posted. Just Google me and find more about it. Okay, last question. If you were a superhero, what would your superpower be? Whew. For sure I can fly. For sure I can fly. Let's start with that. That's okay. just the freedom that you can move wherever you want. You can be on top of everything. That's something I really like. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. We are